Robert F. Kennedy Jr., thank you very much indeed for coming back to Uncensored. Your reaction to this news of Julian Assange being released, we understand he's now uh, just left Bangkok for the final leg of the journey to go to this tiny little island, Saipan, in the northern Mariana Islands and the South Pacific, and he will do this plea deal tomorrow. He'll be on a plane and sent home a, a free man to Australia. What's your response? I mean, my response is this is good for our country. It's good for democracy. Julian Assange is a journalist. He did exactly what journalists are supposed to do. You know, my uncle Pierce gave a speech in April of 1961, which is one of his most memorable speeches about on the topic of secrecy. And he said that during that speech, the government's secrecy is repugnant to a free people and that it is antithetical to American democracy. And, you know, the, the weird, the odd thing about Julian Assange's imprisonment is that the American press did not rise up in outrage and indignation to object on this. I, you know, I said yesterday on Twitter that we should not just release Julian Assange and Edwin Snowden, but that we should build a, a monument to him in Washington as a civics lesson to the American public about the importance of free speech and the First Amendment in this country. It is the foundation stone for, Ameri for the American experiment with self-governance. Everything in democracy relies on the free flow of information. And government, of course, the role of government is to constantly try to increase its power by reducing transparency and reducing the information we have about their deliberations. But of course, in a democracy, a transparent government is, it, that is the essence of democracy. And that's what Julian Assange did for us.